Alors, c'est à vous de, de, cette fois de prendre la, 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 la parole en lieu et place euh, du, du, du vice-recteur de l'université d'Alanus. Merci. Dear participants, on behalf of Alanus University of Art and Social Sciences in Alfter near Bonn, I would like to cordially congratulate you on the completion of your encyclopedia about Rhenish mysticism and Nicholas of Cusa. We are associated with your work in a special way. Our university was named after Alanus Ab Insulis, who is stated in your encyclopedia as one of the people who inspired Rhenish mysticism and also Cusanus. Traditions influenced by Alanus Ab Insulis, Meister Eckhart, and Nicholas of Cusa play a decisive part at our university. In our opinion, even in present days, connecting spirituality and intellect is of essential meaning for educational processes, not only in academia, but also in society. With reference to Alanus, our university has established a mandatory studium generale for all courses of study. No matter what subject they study, our students have to attend courses in philosophy as well as art science. The idea of a self-determined human being expressed by Meister Eckhart and Niklas of Cusa represents an indispensable part of our university's profile. This connection is also visible by looking at the joint research center of Alanus University the Universities of Mainz, Oldenburg and Trier, which is situated in Berncastle Coos at the Coos Academy for European Intellectual History. Alanus University is delighted about the chance of supporting the collaboration of internationally renowned scientists within the project. It is unlikely that another team of researchers will compile a similar overview from thinkers of Rhenish mysticism to Nicholas of Cusa about their sources and about the impact of their work. It is a very laborious and time-consuming task, which at the same time calls for a high degree of interdisciplinary collaboration. You fulfilled this task in an outstanding, exemplary way. Anyway, it will not be necessary that anyone will attend to this subject again, because you successfully managed to make this cultural current highly valuable to European intellectual history accessible to research in a new way. An encyclopedia might seem a merely dry issue on first sight. However, the fact that your project is being introduced at this conference not only to an international community of researchers but also to a broader audience interested in culture shows that you achieved a most valuable academic result as well as working in a broad humanistic and Christian sense. The launch of an Italian translation in the near future as well as the preparation of translations into German and other languages is further proof for this successful bridging. For this conference, as well as for the ongoing distribution of your work, I cordially wish you all deserved success. Professor Dr. Stefan Kohlmann, Vice President of Alanus University.